Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. The Captain Captain Hawk Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. The Captain Captain Hawk Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talks Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, a.k.a. Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome to the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see on the screen. I like to get in here and give my unique perspective, because after 46 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. I didn't tell you about it, because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Nigeria. Got some plays over in Nigeria this past week. Gracias, gratitude, todoraba. In Nigeria, I heard about your Nollywood. I heard you got a Nollywood over there. It's kind of similar to Hollywood. Where you guys put out all types of Nigerian movies. I'll be honest with you guys. I've never seen any Nigerian movies. But you know what I'm going to do in the next few months? I'm going to go down that rabbit hole and I'm going to watch some fine Nigerian cinema. Can't wait to check it out. So thanks for listening. Appreciate Scotty's gratitude. And just said for I, back then went to school to be a radio DJ. But I never got a job. I think I never got a job because I just didn't have the determination. If I would have had the determination, I would have did what was necessary to become a radio DJ. But never did. And that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the matrix some to debate might be true might not be true but i said it on the internet so it's gotta be true right because everything on the internet is facts not facts true false propaganda fake news the matrix i don't know i didn't make the internet ask the people that made the internet so when you're online just be aware just watch out anyways i can ramble you all day but i won't Let's get ready to podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, do you like coffee? Do you like samurai? Well, if you like coffee and you like samurai, we got a mug for you over the existing fiction Zazzle store that says Coffee Samurai. You take coffee, you take samurai, you put them together, put the words in the mug, and you have the Coffee Samurai mug. Now, what is a Coffee Samurai? It is someone that will brave and boldly have coffee on a regular basis. Like a warrior samurai enjoys the coffee so much, has it daily. Enjoys that cup of coffee in the morning. Every day wakes up and has a beautiful cup of coffee. If you do that on a regular basis, if you enjoy the different flavors and blends and styles of coffee, then you, my friend, are a coffee samurai. So if you're a Coffee Samurai, get the Coffee Samurai mug over at the Existing Fiction Sound store. I'll put the link below. Check it out. Now, let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. And I'll be honest with you guys, I am feeling absolutely fantastic. I was outside earlier, got some sun out there in the grass and nature, getting sun, getting sun rays like Superman, getting energized. It's beautiful. I got some baked ziti and a slow cooker now. My rhymes is like ziti, face me real TV. <laughs> if you know, you know. So anyways, I got the baked ziti and the slow cooker. Just had an energy drink. I'm feeling absolutely fantastic. And now it's time to podcast. It's time to talk about movies, TV, sports, and flicks. And ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, I spent about 10, 15 minutes searching through movies on the Paramount Plus app, looking through movies, reading the descriptions, looking at the sea of movies, which are fine movies, a lot of fine movies over there. But a lot of them I've seen already, or a lot are kind of similar. I was looking for that gem that just stood out in the sea of other movies. Something that was just original, something I haven't seen, something that was just like, wow, what is this? Something that just seems so interesting. And as I was going through the Paramount Plus app, looking through the movies, as I'm flipping through it, looking, I say, I see this movie called Stooge Mania. It's like, Stooge Mania? What are you talking about? So I go and look at the about, read the description. And it's about this guy who obsesses over the three Stooges. 
That's what it's basically about. It's about this guy that obsesses over the Three Stooges. And once I saw that description, I'm like, this is interesting. As somebody who has watched movies for like 40 years, I've seen almost everything you could see about almost everything. It's pretty hard to get something new to my eyeballs that I haven't already experienced on some level, some way. Oh, I've seen that before. I've seen something like that. But this, ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen this. I've never seen anything like it. I read the description. I knew right away. I was like, what is this? A guy obsesses over the Three Stooges. Let me see this. And when I watched the movie, the movie was absolute madness. And I don't mean in a negative way. I mean madness in a beautiful way. Because when I went into the movie, I did not know what to expect. This movie's from like 1986. I had no idea what I was going to get when I watched this movie. None. I had none. I didn't know what to expect. What was going to happen. So unpredictable. And I like going into a film or TV show. Like not knowing what to expect. I love that. And it was so cool to have that experience with us. Because I didn't know what to expect. And what you got was just straight madness. <laughs> I was watching this like laughing, cracking up, like it's like this weird, weird experience. Like it was creepy, it was weird, it was funny. It was just this weird, just it, it you know what? It almost felt like I was on drugs. Now this is not a disrespect. This is not meant as disrespect. But it was just so crazy and zany and wild and interesting and weird. This guy would like daydream about three stooges. And as he's just walking around his daily life, he would like see Three Stooge movie clips in his mind. And then his life would start being like a Three Stooges movie. Dude, bros, ladies, it's absolute craziness. And I mean that in the best possible way. When I watch TV, movie, sports, and flicks, I like to be transported in a new, different place to kind of take a break from the reality of real life. And this, my friend... This did that like crazily. I was transported to this weird, strange, odd place for obsession of Three Stooges. And I didn't say this, but I love the Three Stooges. I grew up watching the Three Stooges. I watched the Three Stooges over and over again so much as a young person. They played them on the tube so much. Me, my bro, my cousins, whatever. We saw that so many times. And if you haven't seen the actual real Three Stooges, I highly recommend checking out its craziness. Three Stooges is absolute crazy slaps the comedy. It's so crazy. And then this movie is about basically this guy's obsession with him. So it's so like it was just so cool. I can't believe I've never seen this. I can't believe it was someone that grew up during that time that had never seen this movie, never heard of it. Never heard of it, never seen it. But I'm so glad I watched it. It was just absolute craziness. And I mean that in the best possible way. So if you want to experience something new on the screen, and be very unpredictable, not be able to predict what's going to happen. You want something unpredictable, something new. Because if you're watching all these movies in 2022, if you're watching all these movies made in the last decade, 15 years, they're filmed and created in a certain manner, certain style. They have a certain way they roll flow. This, my friend, this movie does not do that. <laughs> it does not follow the conventional ways of storytelling in modern day. And that's what's so awesome about it. This is 86. This is a different time, different mind, different way. And if you just want something fresh, I know it's old, but it's fresh. If you've been consuming a lot of new stuff, this is fresh. So if you want some fresh, zany, crazy, wild, transport you to a different space, a different alternative universe, <laughs> I highly recommend you check it out. So it's rated very low on the ratings. But if you heard these podcasts before, you know I don't care about ratings. I don't care about tomatoes or stars or thumbs up or likes. I don't care about none of that. That's irrelevant to me. It, it, it doesn't matter about that. I watch films whether they're rated high or low. This one's rated low because they just can't understand. They can't understand that sometimes you got to get zany. Sometimes you got to get crazy. Sometimes you got to get wild. Sometimes you got to let your mind just expand and flow in weird, different ways. And experience things in a different, unusual way. Sometimes you gotta go on crazy rabbit holes. 
in this movie, man, it's wild. And yeah, so it's superbly dope. If you have Paramount Plus, go check it out. It's probably elsewhere. And just real quick, I gotta let you know, I should've said this should the jump. I do own some shares in the parent company of Paramount Plus. Gotta put it out there. So if I have some ownership in some of these things I talk about, I like to put it out there just to be fair, full transparency. I've said many times that I own a piece of Trust Trek, I own a piece of Paramount. It's true. I'm just putting it out there because to be fair and transparent. So they go going on these podcast rabbit holes. You sometimes hear me say I have some shares because I do. And I want to be fully transparent, be fair to let you know that. So anyways, if you have Paramount Plus, go check out Stooge Mania. Get crazy. Get zany. Get wild. Chill, relax, and you go have a good time. Guaranteed. Then after that, go stream some uh, Three Stooges as well. So dope. So anyways, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Gracias, gratitude. And until next time, we'll see. Nothing happens unless first they dream. Carl Sandberg. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.